Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a video that I'm super excited about. This was requested by a handful of you and I love the idea because it really combines those of you that are here on my channel because you love unboxings and those of you that are here on my channel because you love thrifting. Today I ordered four different mystery thrift boxes from three different Etsy sellers. All you do is you give them your sizes and then they send you mystery thrifted clothes and accessories and they have all arrived. So today we're gonna be unboxing them, seeing what the heck I got and trying them on. I'm so excited. <laughs> so here's everything I ordered. Like I said, it is four different boxes, bags, I guess, from three different Etsy sellers. So from an Etsy store called 30 something vintage, this was the most expensive gender neutral vintage clothing mystery bundle. This was $65 before tax. Next, I ordered from an Etsy shop called Wildflower Vintage Goods and I ordered two things from them. I ordered the flannel mystery box thrifted, which has two flannels for $30. And then I ordered the thrifted long sleeve t-shirt mystery box that has two shirts for $22. And last but not least, from some place called the Cheap Teak, like the cheap boutique per se. I ordered the Visco Girl Mystery Box Summer Style Thrifted Short Sleeve that has two shirts inside of it for only $15 a piece, so total $30. Let's open them. Before unboxing our boxes, I wanna say a quick shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Don't skip because you will not believe the class I found. But if you're not aware, I've been working with Skillshare forever because I adore them and they are an online learning community and they have thousands of classes. They have more business-minded classes, creative classes, fun things or things to broaden your horizons and build your dream career. Like a little bit of everything for everyone. It is curated specifically for learning. So there's no ads and it's in modules. You can just watch a couple modules or you can binge a whole class. And if you get the annual subscription, it comes to less than $10 a month. But I wanna tell you guys this class I found, I think it'd be really interesting to watch. I thought that some people that might click on this video might be interested in doing something similar to these Etsy shops. And I found an original Skillshare class called Building an Etsy Shop That Sells, Strategies for E-Commerce and Success. And this is by Parker Gord, who is a video content producer at Etsy. Is that not perfect? <laughs> And I have an amazing link down below in the description box where a certain number of my subscribers would be able to try Skillshare for free, the premium version. So definitely take advantage of that if you're interested and curious. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love you. And let's open these boxes because I cannot wait any longer. Okay, I say let's start with the long sleeve shirt and the flannels and then we'll go to the visco because I'm second most curious about that and then we'll just go to the whole mystery unisex clothing bundle because that was the most expensive and I'm most curious about that. So this looks like the thrifted long sleeve t-shirt mystery box from Wildflower Vintage Goods. I'll link all these Etsy sellers down below. I bought all these with my own money, but I see something bright pink in here. This is a little outside of my comfort zone. Oh, a lot of stickers just fell out. Sips tea. <laughs> so let's take a look at the bright pink one first. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is that uh, shirt that everybody gets when they go to a university or a camp or apparently places. It definitely has a worn in feel, but man, these colors are bright. Let's see what this looks like on. Okay, bright colors are a little outside of my comfort zone, but physically comfort. This is very broken in. Here's what the back looks like. My sister would be very proud of me if I wore this with leggings and like chunky tennis shoes because that's basically how she dresses. So maybe then I could hang out with her and her friends. Please Jacqueline. <laughs> I love her. It's a joke. <laughs> Next, this looks a little more up my alley. New Orleans. I have a lot of family that lives in NOLA, my mom's side, um, all lives over there. So this is the big easy <laughs> New Orleans Cajun country crawfish. This is fun. This one seems a lot smaller than the last one. The last one is definitely a different size, even though I think that they're both smalls. They are. So here is the Louisiana shirt. It's also very, very comfortable. Here's the back of it, but it is 
a little like form fitting. I feel like vintage t-shirts, you kind of got to size up to make them relaxed and kind of like a fun fit. But this is completely on me because I ordered a small, though the last shirt was a oversized small. So I guess there is a little bit of a difference there. I probably realistically won't wear this, but it is fun and it is very comfortable. Those were fun, but I feel like I'm more inclined to maybe wear something like these flannels. So let's see. Oh, more stickers fell out. Oh, okay. So this one is just Forever 21. It does feel very, very soft and it is super cute. I wouldn't quite say that this is vintage, but it has the feel and look of being vintage. It's actually really, really soft. So the Forever 21 flannel, it's super lightweight, super soft. That is the great thing about thrifted items, even if it is just Forever 21. It's been worn and washed before. Not my go-to look, but something to kind of push my style comfort zones. So maybe this is something I should actually keep. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Let's try on the next one though. Oh, and then Lucky Brand. I don't know how long they have actually been around. Oh, since 1990. Are the 90s considered to be vintage? Am I vintage? I made the 90s by three years. <laughs> this is what this one looks like. This one definitely looks a little more unisex. I'm not a huge fan of red, white, and blue checkered stripe. So I'm excited to try this one on. Now that this is on, I'm realizing it kind of has a little bit of a dusty smell to it. But at the time of filming this, I still don't have a washer dryer and I don't have time to hand wash and hang dry. So here we are, but this is what it looks like, kind of half tucked. I actually, though I like the colors of this one more, like the overall fit and feel of the Forever 21 one. Forever 21 one. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be keeping this one, but as always, would love to know your thoughts. The Visco Girl pack. I've heard so much about Visco Girls, and I think that I'm pretty far off from being like one. <laughs> Look at this packaging. So I ordered two shirts and it came basically in two separate packs. Oh my word, there's a card. It says, thank you. I hope you enjoy and thank you for supporting my shop. Follow the Cheap Teak on Instagram. Wow, a handwritten card. I don't know if they talk about this in the Etsy class because I haven't watched it yet, but maybe that's a really good tip if you're starting an Etsy shop. So first and foremost, there is a headband. Don't worry, I will try on this headband with the shirt that it's supposed to be paired with. There's stickers in this one too. Is that a common thing? We have a face mask. That just seems like kind of an added bonus item. Ooh, I'm liking this one. I don't know what this uh, little logo represents, but it's on the back too, just larger. Let's try on both these things together. I don't think I pull off Visco Girl. I don't think I'm even doing it right. I think if I was a true Visco Girl yet again, I would have sized up at least two sizes. Cause isn't that the thing, like wearing very loose fitting t-shirts and Birkenstocks and your hydro flask. And what are the other cliches? <laughs> I think I'm just doing Visco Girl a disservice by even trying, but here we go. The next bundle has a couple little goodies inside of a mesh bag and a t-shirt. Let's look at the goodies first. I think I see a scrunchie, which I know is pretty classic Visco girl, but we have a rainbow scrunchie. It's kind of like a velvety texture. Is this a necklace, a bracelet? Oh, <laughs> we have one of these necklaces. I don't even know what to call this type of necklace. My dad actually bought something very similar on a family trip. Where were we? Not important. Let's see what this t-shirt is though. Ah, the Cayman Islands. Lens. Do you think that that's supposed to go with the necklace? I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. But I will say these smell very clean, which I appreciate. I can tell that they washed these before they packaged them up. <laughs> okay, let's try it on. This shirt cut color print feel probably also Gildan. I just realized is the exact same shirt we had to wear in middle school PE. And now I'm having flashbacks of having to run the mile outdoors while the other half of our grade was at lunch outdoors and would just sit and watch me fail the mile. But here I am. Visco girls don't actually wear the scrunchies, right? They wear them on their wrist. Definitely not me either one. Let's just, let's, let's just all agree on that. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the big dog. It was $65 before shipping and tax from 30 something vintage on Etsy and it's a gender neutral vintage clothing mystery bundle. Say that three times fast. Oh, we have Club Sportif de Paris from 1931 to 1988. This knitted mock neck sweater that has a patch here. 
It's so fun. I am definitely eager to try this one on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this one. This for sure has like Nancy Drew vibes, but just bright color version of Nancy Drew vibes. And this definitely feels old. Like as it's on, it feels kind of fragile. And I feel like my mom had a lot of stuff like this when she was in high school, college. So I bet this is from early 80s, late 70s. My favorite part is this patch and I don't like this down. I definitely would wear it with my signature half tuck fold. I don't know. I know the color is bright. Is it kind of fun? Should I keep it? I definitely like the mock neck. So let me know your thoughts, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this one. Okay. <laughs> it's a bucket hat, but wait. It's reversible. Oh no, am I gonna be this level of trendy? I've never worn a bucket hat in my life. <sighs> what do you think, guys? Is this the new me? I think the denim side is more me. It's more understated, more cool. Do girls wear their hair down with the bucket hat? I feel like I look like a character from a children's book. E-I-E-I-O. Well, that's fun. What's next? <laughs> I gotta take this off. I, got, I can't be serious in this thing. This is fun. Oh, this is my favorite thing so far. And established 1830 Woolrich. This has a very 70s, 80s vibe to me. Definitely like Friday night, we're going to Chili's kind of vibe. And here's the pattern on that. I like those colors a lot. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so at face value, this shirt is a little funky, but I think it has potential if I actually straight up cut crop this, like raw edge hem crop to about this length with some high-waisted pants. It could be really, really cute, and I actually think I do want to keep this shirt and try to do that easy little DIY on it. But I think it has potential to be really cute. Layer it with some fun gold earrings, once I piercings heal, a few different hoops on each earlobe. Cannot wait for that. I think it'd be really cute. Um, we oh, this is kind of fun. Would I ever buy this for myself? No, it's Ralph Lauren. We have a polo shirt that has very like preppy private school vibes to me. This is Yacht Club, and I love the golden buttons on that. This might be fun. Okay, the stuff in this box is surprisingly fun. I definitely would never go out of my comfort zone to pick something like this up. What would be really fun is actually to tuck this into a high-waisted, light-colored, canvas-colored skirt. Kind of like preppy, a nod to preppy vibes. How are you feeling about it? You think it's fun? You think it's like a little too out there weird? Lots of things to comment on in this video, but as always, I love to read your guys' thoughts because it's just fun. It's just fun, so let me know. The things left in here feel small. Oh, oh fun. A scarf? Would you wear it like a scarf? Would you tie it around a ponytail or as a headband maybe? Like tie that in the back? That could be a lot of fun. Oh, you know what else this would be cute as? Is a belt alternative tied around some jeans. All these things actually feel vintage. The other things feel thrifted, but this feels vintage, which feels special. I like it. Last but not least, oh, it's a belt. Very vintage feeling as well. Let's see. Ban oh, Banana Republic. I don't know, how long has Banana Republic been around? Oh, it's 32, it's Brooks size. <laughs> you wouldn't wear this. <laughs> this is the details on that and the leather feels very well loved, which actually I like. Wow, what a good variety in this last one. These are all great. They all had their very distinct personalities, which is a lot of fun, but I think that the last one was the winner. Although it was by far the most expensive. So maybe that's something to take into account, but I'm very impressed with all these Etsy sellers. And so I will have them all linked down below. Oh my word, this was fun. Thank y'all so much for watching per usual. Also, if you're new to this channel or if you've just kind of been casually hanging out lately, it would mean so much to me if you wanted to press that subscribe button and officially hang out with me all the time, be a part of this online friend group, as I like to say. That means more to me than you know, and it truly does help me out so much. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.